What about Bengals' defensive line? We know Trey Hendrickson, uh, I guess Osa, is, is, he's banged up a little bit. Um, how healthy is that defensive line uh, for the Bengals getting ready for week one? Yeah, well, outside of Joseph Osai, who seems like he's going to be missing a little bit of time here due to the injury that he suffered in the preseason, they're really healthy. Um, and that's another area of this Bengals team that I don't think it's the recognition that they rightfully, I think, should deserve. The fact that they don't generate as many sacks, and I know sacks it seems to be what's one of these stats that everyone gets so excited about when it comes to defensive players. They generate a lot of pressure and have been so strong against the run that's going to be interesting, too, to see how that defense does hold up against the Browns just because we know how great Nick Chubb is there in the backfield. But this defensive line, when you have Hendrickson and Sam Hubbard on the ends and then inside in the middle, DJ, ta DJ Reader, excuse me, he's one of the best defensive tackles in the game, and you almost never hear his name talked about. Paired up with B.J. Hill, who has quietly gotten better and bolstered that defensive line for the Bengals. I think that's really going to be an area that's going to shine for this defense, um, especially if they can generate a little bit of pressure with once Joseph Osai is healthy and gets back into the mix. I know that they're excited to see how he's going to fold in. They also uh, drafted Miles Murphy in the first round as well um, on the edge. So they're excited to see how he can get into the mix um, and fold there, too. But. It's all going to come down to, to how much pressure they can generate. And despite not having the sack numbers, it has been an area of strength for this team.